mother was praying The world be different than the one she was raised in With all the violence Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I know you're going to love this content. On this channel, I like to do lifestyle videos. I do DIYs, which we're doing today. I do some um, decor as well. And I do a lot of vlogging. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're hitting that subscribe button, you could go ahead and check out my other channel, Design Cafe by Jag. You can definitely hit the subscribe button over there as well. That is where I will be giving you guys all the tea, all the design tips and tricks, all the educational knowledge, reviewing your spaces and everything. So if you love interior design the way I do, you definitely want to be subscribed to that channel, okay? Now, let's get into today's video or a portion of today's video and or this week's vlog. Yeah, because it's gonna continue tomorrow. So, I went into Crate and Barrel and I fell in love with this hurricane it's a it's a um, candle a hurricane a hurricane is a type of jar that hole you would put like candles into but I don't want it for candles um, I want it for florals right and I fell in love with it I pop I'm gonna pop a picture of it up right here so I fell in love with this piece and I did not want to pay the price for it. Um, it's seventy-four dollars just for it. Okay, so I decided um, even if I'd use my um, trade discount, it still was expensive. It was still like sixty-eight dollars with tax, right? So I decided I was going to DIY it myself. And what I did, when you want to DIY something, maybe it not it, you maybe it will not come out exactly how that piece look but you want to take away what you loved about it and there was two things that i loved about it i love the fact that it was transparent and i love the fact that it was two tear okay so i decided i can diy this i can create a transparent two tear hurricane that i can use for florals so i went on the hunt and i started to look for do I need to start this over? I think I need to start this over because I'm not using my mic. Guys, hold on. Let me go get my mic. Let's see if this song's any better. <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys. Like I was saying, I went on the hunt for the material that I will definitely need to complete this project. And I went into I went to Home Goods first. I saw this other beautiful vase in Home Goods that I would love to use. But I was like, stick to stick to the program, Judith. Stick to the program. Um, I'm here thinking about it now. And I think I'm going to do something with that one as well. But let's stick to the program. So I did saw one that was like a half cut. It was like cut in a diagonal like this. I saw that in Home Goods. Then I checked Target. I don't know why I checked Target. But I was like, let me see what Target has. Um, I didn't find anything, and then I knew I needed to go into Hobby Lobby. So I went into Hobby Lobby, and I definitely found something that can work, right? So I found two vases that can work. They were 50% off, so lucky me that I went in this week and not last week because they were not on sale last week, and I would have bought them. Okay, so I got this one, which will be the base. And this one was $13.99, half off. So I got this for $7. Okay? So I'm going to, this is that one. And then they had several sizes in this one. So I got this one, which will be my top. And this one was $8.99, so $4.50. Okay? So in total, I paid $11.50 for these two items. Okay? And then I am going to use some E6000 glue and I paid I have this but I have no idea where I would find it so I just went ahead and bought one since it was only $3.99 for it so I'm definitely going to be using this to put it together so I was going to stick this last night but I knew baby Zyla would touch it and I needed to sit overnight 
without being touched okay um tomorrow we are going to be i would say just kind of styling the house a little bit for fall um i'm not going to be doing much because i told you guys i was not decorating for fall but since i saw this and fell in love with it i was like i'll just do a little bit so we're gonna be like changing the florals out and just adding um some florals here and there to make the house feel like we're going into that fall season okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these stickers um, from this. And praise the Lord, that was not hard at all. Okay. And move this one because you don't want when you stick them together that you can see the sticker. Right. This is an easy DIY. And guys, I always tell you that uh, this one is hard. I shouldn't have talked that fast. I always tell you when you see certain things, um, you can DIY it, you know, something as easy as this. Now, if this don't turn out how I want it to turn out, I know where they sell them at. I would just bite the bullet and go and pay the $68. However, oh, you know what I'm going to try to do? I'm going to look to see if they go on even a further sale for Memorial Day sales. Okay, so I have to go get a knife to try to scrape this off. If it doesn't come off, then I'm going to have to wet it. Or, oh, I can spray some, um, some glass cleaner on this. Yeah, it's giving me a hard time. The other one was crazy easy. This. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just realized the mic is not working with my camera. I don't know why. You're supposed to just plug it into the port and it would automatically work. It's doing it with my phone, but not the camera, which is pretty sad. Okay. So... Moving on to this DIY. So the first thing I did is, of course, like I just said, I remove the stickers because you don't want them to, um, let's dip you down. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think you guys can see enough. So we have the two pieces here. We have this one. And what we're going to do is turn this one like this and stick them together. Now, I want to make sure that it is centered on this one. It's centered on this one. So I might have to do it the opposite way because I can see. I can see better. Well, I thought I could, yeah. I can see a little bit better like this okay so because I have this is in and then you have this is a little higher I want to put the glue here okay so that's what we're gonna do right now is I'm going to put the glue I'm going to put the glue, the glue on the rim Okay, this is not very, let me get my glasses. Ciao. Let's put it. One thing, this glue, it dries, um, it dries clear. Okay. Some of it just dropped on this chair, which is not good for the chair. You just take this one, and I just want to center them. Okay, so I wanted you guys to see up close. So what I'm doing is I'm looking through the top, and you see like there's some rings in there. So I'm trying to like level those with the bottom base piece. When you 
put this on, you do not want to be shifting it. If you shift it, the glue is going to be moving and it's going to look probably smudgy at the end. Like that. Okay. So, that's how it will look. I'm going to let it sit here. I'm going to let it sit here so that it can dry. And once it's dry, I'm going to wipe it, clean it up. So guys, I went to Trader Joe's and I picked up some flowers. I was so excited for how my new vase turned out. I am loving it. And guess what, guys? I actually saw the one that I want. I saw Style, um, Style by Casanova. I saw her. That's my girl, Nadia. I saw her. She has the actual vase. And she used these um, flowers. It will not. I don't know if she used this particular one, but the um what are those called hydrangeas i think she used those yeah this one she used these in them and i was like ah girl yes thank you <laughs> because i was gonna probably like put some roses or something in it but when i saw her use these i was like yes i am gonna go get these so i went to trader joe's and i got them and guys these last me over two weeks i did change the water out after a week and put some more food in it but this last this arrangement lasts me over two weeks yes i know the video is behind yes yes we're catching up we're almost there <laughs> but oh my goodness like i cannot explain to you how beautiful this turned out and I did not have to pay the $74. My girl Casanova paid her money, but Judah wasn't doing it. <laughs> I think like there's some DIYs like you don't do and there's some that you do. And I think that this one was worth doing. Um, I get the same look for a cheaper price. It turned out beautiful. Um, only if you look down through the top, you will see the transparent glue. But outside of that, you, you're not going to see it. And I'm um, like looking from the side or anything, you don't see it. So I'm excited. I am happy. Um, this turned out so beautiful. And yeah, so I definitely will be keeping me some fresh roses or some fresh flowers in my new vase. I did love the vase that was here first before, but this right here though, I was like, where am I going to put it? I can't do nothing in my living room yet. So all my styling happens over here, in my bathroom, my bedroom. Nothing yet like over on the living room area. So I am so, so super excited for this. But definitely when the living room is ready, I will be putting fresh flowers over there as well. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm so, so, so happy with how this vase turned out, guys. If you want to do this DIY, I would definitely say go ahead and do it. Um, it's nice to come and see something that you did. That's why I like doing certain DIYs. Um, this one is so easy and so affordable. Like this cost me what, less than $15, $16? Yeah. So definitely guys go and do this DIY so you can have yourself some nice fresh flowers. And I got me some baby breaths and then I wanted to add some more green in with the white. So I did that. Um, I'm going to go look and see what other flowers I can put in here as well. I did see her do some other arrangements. So she gave me some ideas. She's always doing arrangements. So she gave me some ideas as well. So you're going to see me doing those. I am good with full arrangements. I don't know why I think I'm not good. It's the same thing you do, I guess. So I don't know why. I'm really good with full arrangements. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing me some arrangements in my new vase. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. Comment down below and tell me what you think about this vase, how you think it turned out, if you're going to try it, if I did that or I didn't do that. Like, girl, that thing don't look as good as you think it does. Let me know. Tell me down in the comments what you think because I'm excited. I am happy. I, you can even put full um, 
arrangements in this as well. It doesn't have to be um, the real ones, okay? So as usual, you know me, I got clean as I go. So I'm cleaning up and I'm gonna set her in place. I'm kind of afraid to pick her up. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I feel like the bottom is gonna drop off even though I know it's not. But yeah, I'm so, so excited to um, put her in place. And yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy for real. I am happy with how this turned out. So guys, let me know down in the comments section if you are going to be trying her out. Okay, let's move on to the other side. So you guys know I have my artwork here. So now I want to style it, okay? So I got that jar from Westham. I have it probably over four, three to four years now. And um, probably three years. I got this stem from Hobby Lobby. And I just want one stem. One stem. And I am creating basically an art over an art. Okay? So me taking this stem, letting it spread across that black canvas and opening up the, the stems across it is creating this statement piece. And when I tell you that thing looks amazing, it does. So over here on this side, all I'm going to do is add in my colors that um, I have going on in my house. Like you, this is the color basically in the bedroom. Um, so I'm gonna do this. I'm also gonna add a little bit of burgundy in the bedroom as well. Um, because I have this color on the bed. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to do different in the bedroom when you guys see that video. Um, I haven't styled it yet, but I know what I am going to do. Okay. So I'm just going to do this over here because remember I have those blue chairs dealing with, so I'm not doing much and I'm not inspired to do much over here on this side at all. So this is all I'm going to do over on this side of the room. I also created the same exact, I don't know if I filmed it, I think I did, or I think the cam, I thought the camera was filming and it wasn't, but I did this exact same thing in the bathroom. So what I'm doing here is I am installing the lights that I got from Tumi. You should have seen those in a previous video where I did the haul. But you're going to see um, later on, well, in a few seconds, where I actually had to change these out because they did not do what I needed them to do. The charge didn't last long at all. So I did go ahead and I ordered the lights that I got from, that I had in my previous home, and I knew that they work well. However, they came with a black Cord and I wanted to use white. So that's what I'm explaining here. This video is very fuzz, um, not focusing. So I had to cut a lot of it out, all of the talking, me explaining to you guys what I was doing. I had to take all of that out because of the blurriness. But you're going to see where I install it. I had to go into the storage and get some more lights. Okay, here's the focus. You're still, you guys are seeing like, white blots on the wall i promise you that's not what you're seeing in person okay um of course camera is going to pick it up differently see now it's going to get wider if i turn up the brightness but i would say this is about what you're what i'm actually seeing but not the harsh lines okay so <clears throat> that's the kitchen lit now let me go and um, do the wire control. I will show you the wire control after. Then we can finish putting in all the decor in this space that um, I'm not per se calling it fall decor, but um, let's just say for the video, it's fall decor. But this is like me finally decorating this particular space in the home. Um, I should say this outer space in the home because I'm gonna show you what the entire kitchen area looks like. Um, including the opposite walls and the console and everything prior to um, me doing anything. So this side of the house is decorated. And then next week I'll show you what I did in the bedroom. Okay, the living room area per se is not, um, nothing is going to be really going on over here besides what I add to the console. But um, because of the furniture, that's why. 
okay so let me finish doing the wire the wire management part of this task and then um i am going to give you guys a b-roll of how the entire space turned out okay now i'm going to start to style okay um i'm going to put this area how i really wanted it um, for a while, I have wanted to style this area, but wasn't able to do so. So the book that I just showed you, I got that book from Aldi's. Um, this piece, I got that glass piece. I got that from Target. Um, the stand, I got it from Ross. And then these towels, I got these from Target. I did have both of them on the stove, but I decided to put one on the dishwasher and this candle of course is from jack by design so here is a pan of you know how the finish look is i really really loving how the light has done like amazing for this space um i don't think the camera is showing it as good as it really look is very soft and very moody, but we're getting these bright blotches of light on the camera. But I love how the space is turned out. This right here though, is my trophy. I love this little area right here, this little vignette when you just walk into the home. As you can see, I just took one stem and I let it just spread across that black piece of artwork. When I tell you this thing looks amazing, if you come into my home, you're going to want to stand and you're just going to want to stare at this. That's how good this looks. It looks very grand. I am totally in love with it. My, my whole mindset is to get a really tall vase and do it, do that with it. But for now, I don't have the vase. So I'm using that table and that other marble vase that I had gotten from West Elm. So guys, this is how the space turned out. I'm really happy with it. And I feel like my kitchen area is now completed. So guys, stay tuned for the next video um, where I will be styling my bedroom.